Hey there, Mitch here. Today I'm gonna to attempt to make some holding pins for my box blade shanks. Let me show you what I'm talking about. This is a Land Pride BB1254. If you have a Land Pride box blade, you already know about these spring clips. So the way these clips work is you gotta squeeze them and you shove them in the hole and that fills the gap so the shank won't fall out because of the notch not sitting on the metal here. And then you have to pull them out and not drop them. So my idea, after doing some research, is to stick this half inch rod in there and that'll fill the gap so it can't fall back into the hole and fall off that ledge right there. This should be a pretty easy project. The material I'm using today is half inch round stock, hot rolled. Well, I made four good ones and one bad one. A little longer on this end, but that's okay. I'm gonna just keep that as a spare and I'm gonna take it a step further and drill holes in the ends so I can put wire lanyards on each pin so when I pull it out, I can let it go and it can hang off of the wire. I want to share something that a viewer told me I should try for the metal shavings. I'm going to stick this magnet in an old sock. The viewer was saying wrap it in a rag. Sometimes I use my old socks for rags so it's kind of the same thing. Let's see how it goes. Just capture all the metal shavings. Kind of wipe off stuff too at the same time. Kind of nice. Another thing you can use is maybe a shop vac or I usually use a dustpan, but this might go a little easier because even with the dustpan, I'm kind of dropping shavings everywhere. Looks like it works pretty good. Yeah, check that out. Looks like it worked pretty good. So I guess I'll turn the sock inside out trying to catch all the burrs that I just picked up or all the shavings and that's it and take the drill bit out and I like to take my chuck key and put it right in the vise that way I know where it's at every time if you're wondering what I use for cutting fluid I just use rapid tap well let's clean up the sharp edges a little bit some rubbing alcohol to clean it up. Now that we got them all wired up, we're gonna take it to the paint booth.
got some 1 16th stainless steel cable and I got some ferrules so I can make some lanyards for those pins that way I won't lose them in the woods and I'll probably put the lanyards off of this eye right here or this hole right here let me pull these other clips out and I'll throw them in the toolbox because that's pretty much where they're going to live. And I got one extra. Put that in the toolbox too. Each side will have two going to this hole. And we just take our ferrule and our wire and just make like a little loop. So you go through the ferrule. Go through this hole. And then go back into the ferrule. When you go back in, don't go too far past your aluminum ferrule. So not so a bunch of wire ain't sticking out cuz all it's going to do is fray and poke you and poke you or get caught in your gloves and then we'll just smash it with some lineman pliers just like crimping it get another one of your ferrules there slide it on first then loop it through your pin hook it back into your ferrule here you can tighten up your loop a little bit Crimp away. This is stainless steel cable, so they won't rust. The pins will rust out or rust before the ferrule and the cable. All right, let's sketch you up close. So I made my lanyard. I probably should have waited for the paint to dry. Anyways, uh, so the pin will just come out here, and I can just hang it. It's tied into this box in that hole. We don't really use that hole for some reason. It's, it's there. I don't know what it's for. You know, now I can move the shank up or down. Hook it up there. Is that all the way up? Yeah. Hook it up there, and then you just drop your pin in. And now it can't come out. It fills the void. And this edge can't go back any further. When there's pressure here, it actually pushes that more towards the edge. All that pin is, is just a, basically a spacer. You know, you can't pull this out until you pull the pin out. And then it goes back, then slides, it, slides up and down, and then back into your groove. Or you can even take it completely out. Well, I got three more to do, so I'll put you on time lapse. I've been wanting to do that for a while now and I'm glad it turned out as good as it did it maybe took a couple hours to do with the cameras and all I think I think I'm happy with the results uh, if you like it feel free to do it yourself and make your box blade even better I am NOT gonna be playing with them clips anymore they're gonna end up in the toolbox and rattle their way to the bottom oh by the way don't forget to subscribe it doesn't cost you a thing it's all free. Just subscribe so that we can boost our channel up. So if you like this content, uh, we have more videos right here, I think. They should pop up. You should check those out. Until next time, keep it on the sunny side. Mm -hmm.